Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another tease video. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all and telling you how I got a 100 in my tease. And no, this was not my first time taking it. If you watched my previous video, this was my third time taking it. So obviously, I was kind of already knowing what to expect. I knew what to study. I studied better for it. And I will be telling you how I studied and what to expect and what to study so you can get better than you did last time or a good first time score for your math so let me just show y'all see my score 100 so let me tell y'all so i went in this book this book is amazing if you don't already have it go get it it's 25 dollars on amazon this book has all the formulas you need to know. I wrote down a lot of information for you that I'm going to be letting you know. So go get your pen and your paper and be ready to pause because I'll be breaking down everything. And here we go. First things first is don't do anything in your head because you might think you're doing it right. Trust me, the tease test has literally anything you can pot any way you can do it wrong they got the answer for it so make sure you're doing it right write down everything if it is five times 15 write it down make sure you're doing it right because it might sound right in your head but when you put it on paper you're like oh wait that's not right pause first things first get the book i already told you but it's so helpful like it's so helpful i didn't have it the first time i took it i got like a 80 on the math didn't have it the second time got like an 85 had it the third time got a 100 get the book it's your best friend second thing take the ati practice tease it has questions just like your test you're gonna know what to expect you're gonna know what formulas to know you're gonna know what formulas they give you because some formulas they do give you they give you fahrenheit to celsius formula they give you that formula they don't give you that i'm about to give you a bunch of formulas to know so write it down first things first know how to find the area of a circle so on my test it gave me it told me i need to find the area of like a basketball court and it gave me like all these measurements don't worry about the inside measurements worry about the outside measurements that's all you need to know you're just finding an area of a rectangle that's all you're doing so ignore all this crazy stuff inside because it, it gets confusing when you first look at it you're like what in the world don't pay attention to that they're just trying to scare you and they're trying to confuse you so don't fall for it know how to cross multiply when i tell you it's a big thing on your test it's huge it's like honestly I don't want to be dramatic, but it's like majority of your test. If you know how to cross multiply, you are good. So remember this fraction, part over whole, part over whole, just know it. Put it in your mind and remember it and part over whole, okay? Equals percent over 100. Part over whole equals percent over 100. Let's say it says, what is 15% of 32? Well, 15, you're trying to find a part of 32. So part is gonna be X, 32 is gonna be whole because that's the whole number you're trying to find a part of. And I said 15%, 15 is gonna be over 100. It's always out of 100%. So 100% is the bottom. 15th at the top. Let me just write it down so I can show you. So it's gonna look a little like this. So you're trying to find 15% of 32. So part over whole equals percent over 100. You're trying to find X. 32 is the whole. 15% percent goes on top, 100 goes on bottom. You're gonna cross multiply 32 times 15 divided by 100 and there's your X. Remember that because I promise you it will come in handy. Next is going to be know that one pound equals 16 ounces. They will ask you because they don't give you that formula. Another thing, know that one meter equals 1,000 millimeters or another way you can remember it is that King Henry died drinking chocolate milk. Leash. 
King Henry died drinking chocolate milk. So say like one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. So your meter's gonna go in the middle. So you're gonna move the decimal over one, two, three. Three zeros to one is 1,000 millimeters. Just know how to do it because it does ask you a few questions. I don't even know if I'm explaining it in a good way, but I hope you like get the hang of it. Like I said, they will be giving you the Fahrenheit to Celsius or vice versa uh, formula. It does help a lot. Just type it in the calculator and you're good. Know that one feet equals 12 inches. That you probably already know that, but they don't give you the formula to it. So know it, put it in your head, keep it there. Know how to convert a fraction to a decimal because they're gonna be having some crazy fractions, five crazy fractions, and they're gonna say, okay, put this from least to greatest. Well, you have to know how to convert those. So write down your decimal, whatever the calculator says, and then put those into least to greatest or whatever your problem says. And that's it. All you have to do is, once you convert those fractions to decimals, all you have to do is put those decimals to least to greatest. Type in that fraction and it'll give you a decimal. It is a lifesaver, like seriously. Decimal to percent. So if you don't know what how to do a decimal to percent, all you have to do is, so if it's 0.72, you're just moving the decimal two places to the right. So you're moving it 0.72, 1, 2, 72%. Remember, remember it, write it down. Percent to decimal. All you have to do is flip what I just told you and it's two places to the left. 72%, pretend like the decimal's at the end. It's obviously not at the front because then it'll be 0.72%. So it's at the end. Move it two places to the left, 0.72%. Drop that percent and it's a decimal. Know how to do your mean, median, and mode. It is like maybe three questions, but like I said, every single thing you get right is just making your points higher. So why not get as many questions right as you possibly can? So know that your mean is your average of your numbers. All you have to do to get your ad average is add up all the numbers you see and divide it by as many numbers as there are. So say there's four sets of numbers, there's 32, 50, 60, and nine. Add all those numbers up and divide it by four, and there's your average. The median, you're gonna take that set of numbers and you're gonna place it from least to greatest, whatever's in the middle of your least to greatest. If you think about it, median kinda sounds like middle, you can think of it like that. And mode, mode sounds like most, Whatever number is appearing the most is your mode. So say you have like 32, 5, 32, 16, and 3. Obviously 32 is your mode because it's appearing most in the numbers. So know that, write it down, and remember it because those are a couple questions on the test. Well, at least they were on mine. Know your less than and greater sign. How I remembered it ever since I was a little kid. Less than is shaped like an L, it's going like an L, it's always going to be less than if it's shaped like an L. And then greater than is just opposite. So if it's not shaped like an L, it's greater than. That time clock moves so fast. So I'm telling you, if you don't know it or if you're like thinking about it for like 45 seconds to a minute, flag it and go to the next one because if you go to the next or once you're done with your test it'll like bring up all your flagged questions if you go back to it you'll most likely remember it'll probably ring a bell okay next things to do because this video is already pretty long is know your place value because that was a couple questions on the test so if you don't know what place value is which i hope you do it breaks it down really good in the ati book the mom my matrix i don't really know how to say it the ones tens hundreds all that it will say like what number is in the tenths place another thing which is like three questions it'll have like what is the ratio for 16 boys in a class and 13 girls in the class and then the ratio will be like what is the ratio of girls to boys so make sure because they'll probably have it flipped because there's some tricky people so make sure you're reading the order because it does matter and you'll get it wrong if you do it the opposite order. So make sure you're paying attention to every word. Literally break down every single word 
in the sentence because they try to trick you every chance they get. I'm almost done. So know your graphs. So know like the line graph, the pie graph, and the bar graph because it will like give you all this information and it will say like what is the best way to organize this data. So you have to know what each graph is best for and what it's like mostly used to organize and you're going to have to take that information and basically tell like well, I think a pie graph will be best to organize this data. Know your graphs and you'll be good. Just, it's pretty like self-explanatory. Obviously, like if you're comparing one thing to another, it'll be this. Or if you're comparing like 10 different things, it'll be this. Or, you know, it'll break it down in the book. So that's why I'm telling you, get the book because it literally breaks down everything you need to know. Also, take your T's practice exam because that that will give you practice test questions so you'll already know like kind of what to expect along with the graphs know what a positive and a negative linear means okay so if it's positive obviously obviously the data will be going up if it's negative obviously it's going to be going down pretty self-explanatory but just know what it is because it'll have our data on a plot graph and the plots are going down and it's like is this negative or positive obviously it's negative because it's going down but that is all i can think of i mean i hope you guys are writing that down because it's very 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 helpful information like i said i did take the test three times so i'm pretty familiar with what was on it so i don't think i missed much if i did at all um there are a lot of word problems there's a lot of word problems so like i said make sure you're breaking all the information down there's just a lot of word problems have it in front of you you can see it just write everything down i cannot stress it enough it's so helpful i did i took like four sheets of paper like i had to ask for more paper because i wrote everything down and obviously that showed in my score because i made sure i got everything like all the information i broke down everything i took away all the details that weren't needed i practiced my formulas i knew my formulas just make sure you go in there confident i know it's like so overwhelming because all the science stuff just know you got it and go in there confident you've been studying for so long and so hard just take a deep breath and go in there calm i hope my tease videos are helpful for y'all definitely let me know in the comments below and also let me know what more you'd like to see or what other videos you'd like to see if you want any more on the teas or any on the reading section i can do a separate video for the reading section or the english section just let me know comment down below what you would like to see next and don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm definitely going to keep on doing teas videos or nursing videos I just applied to nursing school like yesterday so y'all can be a part of my journey for that and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to follow my instagram at caitlin saldana and i'll be back with more nursing videos see ya mm -hmm.